Hi and welcome to Chandu.org. In the previous video, we had a look at how to create panel charts in Excel and how to make them way quickly and easily using R. Um, and I mentioned that you could also create similar graphs using Power BI and R script feature. So let me show you how we can create a panel chart using R in Power BI. Now this in, this requires that you have both Power BI and uh, I believe R installed on your computer. And um, and I'm, this is not an introduction to Power BI by any way because I plan to do that as a separate video uh, sometime in the next one or two weeks. But this is just assuming you are familiar with Power BI and you just want to have uh, a panel chart that is part of your Power BI dashboard or visualizations and, uh, and because there is no uh, straightforward native support for that uh, you want to use uh, uh, R script uh, because uh, Power BI allows uh, us the flexibility of having other interactive elements for example filtering the charts by a group code so you only see the panel chart for the branch uh, I think this is even more interesting than plain vanilla R solution. For example, here I could uh, see my my panel charts uh, for any particular group. It, it's taking a while because I think Power BI has gone to sleep since the time I set it up. Uh, but you can just slice this and instantly see the graphs for that particular group. Uh, like this and that's that's very powerful and it kind of reduces the clutter and you could uh, hypothetically add some additional visualizations here that that interact with that slicer uh, so it can show the spend and number of people and gender split and all sorts of other statistics which can be amazingly cool so now let me show you the entire process from start to finish uh, this is a completed workbook you can download that in the description of the video or if you go to the blog uh, to the companion article you can see that there uh, but now let's uh, let's start by close saving and uh, and opening a brand new power bi workbook so let me just uh, fit everything into the recording space and I apologize for this because I was just assuming that when you open a new file, it'll open the same window, but uh, it's a brand new window. <laughs> All right, let's get the data. Let's get it from our CSV file uh, and we will use the REM data CSV just like the previous video. Okay, so this will take a minute and uh, the, the data will be shown in a preview window. Uh, where you can confirm everything now if you remember the process that we did in R is we just loaded this data as is into R and then using deployer we we created a summarized pivot table format from this data uh, we then use that in ggplot to create the panel chart but I find that uh, because Power BI gives the gives us the choice of using uh, Power Query to clean up and reshape the data we could use that power query to take this raw data of uh, 3000 odd rows and convert that into uh, another format like the pivot table and then feed that into uh, into the visualizations through R that way your R process will be smaller it only creates the charts and not not creates these intermediate data frames so I guess it would be faster so let's edit this data uh, this will open the query editor for us uh, oh. which is nothing but your your good old power query but in a different screen theme of black color so what we want is we want first create a pivot kind of a structure from this so let's go ahead and uh, use group by feature to create a group uh, we the basic group by will only allow one grouping level but we will use advanced and uh, let's start by group branch uh, we will use the same process as we did in the R script which is 
uh, we first group at two levels uh, oh sorry three three levels or two levels and then add the counts and then add the next layer and then calculate the percentages because here also we, we can only count rows some rows we, we are unable to count uh, as a percentage or anything so so we add these two we we want to see count of rows we will add one more aggregation this is all rows of uh, ratings all right so for now we are not even looking at the high column we are only interested in the uh, in, in these things so let's see how what what it turns up it basically creates this and it tells me that in in these branches uh, it, it says 80 rows that's all the 80 branches we have those counts so this is my count I want to just make sure we use the right name so instead of calling it count I'll call this as branch count uh, okay so that's my branch count and that's ratings and now let me expand this table and I just want my rating I don't want anything else there uh, so I'll get all the ratings and because uh, there are various ratings it, it kind of expands that table for us okay so now let's go ahead and apply group by again this time we will use again advanced we'll say group branch ratings and we want to count the number of rows uh, let me add branch count as well and uh, move it up because that way the branch count information will be there otherwise it kind of gets omitted okay and let's click OK so this will show up like this that's my count that's my branch count we can now calculate the percentage of count as against branch count by uh, using an add column standard arithmetic percentage of so it's count as a percentage of branch count that's the column uh, that comes up there we will take this it's usually shows up as as a number so 17.67 we want this as 17.67 percentage so I'll go to standard divide uh, with 100 and that that kind of uh, oops I think we added a column let's go to transform in and divide this with 100 so we take this value we now converted that into a percentage I'm going to set this formatting as percentage and uh, call this column as PCT a short for percentage all right now it is all good we got 236 rows one per each group branch rating combination I'll move this uh, rating here uh, in just call this column as rating in and we are good so we got our within each group branch for each rating how many is the total branch count what is the count of people in that rating and what is the percentage of people in that rating all good we don't need to do anything else we will leave the name of uh, our query as rem data and we will say close and apply this gets closed uh, this data set is now passed to power bi uh, and it will show up in the right hand side fields area for us uh, there is only one table so it's all very straightforward okay so now we will insert our R script uh, it will show a warning message saying do you want to enable script visuals enable and your R visual will be here it's fairly blank because there's nothing there uh, but what what you can now do is you can drag the fields into the R script uh, so that your Power BI will construct a data frame for you that is available for you in R code, any further R code that you are going to use. So I'll go and add our branch uh, group rating and percentage values as a as a data frame, right? So it will be created now. Remember. Uh, I think it removed some duplicate rows. I don't know what duplicate rows it was talking about, uh, but I'll remove that warning. I hope it has everything that we need. Um, 
okay so group branch rating and percentage so we have that and now you can just create a chart here which is your usual R script now you will assume that there would be a data frame named data set that contains the the data set for your your data from power bi so you will assume that data frame is available and then you will simply use your uh, ggplot now remember when you are using direct ggplot here you must first load the library for ggplot uh, i don't think you need to load the, load the entire tidyverse you could probably load just the charting part of that library i'm not really sure how that works but uh, just to be safe we load everything all good now let's go ahead and, uh, and and get the code here i have the code already in my notepad because i'm lazy i don't want to type this thing again so we'll paste it now remember the only thing that needs changing is the data frame name in our earlier code we were using rem underscore p1 but this time we will use data set that's the name uh, we'll make sure the column names are all matching uh, group and branch and element size and once it's ready we'll run this uh, might take a while I think there is an error let's see what this error is uh, oh object PCT is not found this is because I think this was small case P and that's capital P so let's uh, fix that problem and and run again I think it's going to display some sort of a visualization we should fingers crossed uh, not really but the thing that surprised me with this process was when I tried to first run the code I I was under the impression that we had to actually create the data frame uh, but the, the process of creating that data frame is done by Power BI so you don't even need to write the code it is shown to you here in our comments but this is the code that uh, Power BI is already doing that doing for us so it created a, a data set with the data frame containing those four columns from your query uh, so I, I'm not really sure if there is a finer control on what goes into the data frame but uh, I guess uh, this is all right so that that's the thing let's uh, see if I can actually uh, see the graphs oh I think the graphs are there it's just the titles are hijacking the whole thing so what I'm going to do now is I'll add a slicer to our report we put that slicer there okay and this slicer would be on our group so we'll add group there the slicer orientation is by default orange vertical we will change this to uh, orientation horizontal and I'll show the slicer like that I'm going to turn off the header in the, and let's just select one of these slicers now the slicer interaction will prompt the R script to run again but because slicer is filtering out the group so only enterprise support group is available and that that group is then created as a panel chart so here you go your, your interactive panel chart in R by using the awesome features of power query to mash up and reshape the data and uh, slicer feature of power bi to filter the data and and finally uh, simple R script of ggplot face it wrap to create a, a layout like this now because we will be with this paradigm you're going to see let's say hypothetically one group at a time of course you could multi select these groups but let's say the use case is one group at a time in that case what you could also do is you could uh, uh, remove the group thing there just show the branch and uh, and say number of rows is one um, in the advantage of this would be your graph will be in one row uh, with how many hour this way you could probably uh, I think some of the 
rendering and aspect ratios are are not dynamic so when you re rerun the script it will then realize that it has got this kind of a rectangle and it will try to fit the plot into that rectangle so there you go i think this is quite powerful because this opens up the options of adding additional visualizations here for example you could uh, i don't know maybe show a a branch wise uh, oh let me share, change this layout to that and count and and sort by count so you could for whichever branch selected the total people are also shown uh, irrespective of what kind of ratings and we don't have the hike column here it was part of the original data assuming that is also there you could show that information and uh, and show a listing of people who are on uh, let's say outstanding rating or or enemy rating that is not meeting expectations rating etc so this kind of gives you heaps of possibilities uh, because you're now combining R, Power Query and Power BI and all, all sorts of things uh, to come up with a visualization that would be almost impossible to get in Excel alone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I think uh, uh, this is actually prompted from one of the comments that I got on the post and I thought uh, instead of writing a lengthy article explaining the entire process I could make a video and uh, and show that to you i mean there's only so much of text that you can write to showcase how awesome this thing is uh, whereas a video i could say the word awesome several times like this awesome 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 okay i won't bore you anymore uh, thank you so much for watching the video if you like it just give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel so that you could get more such videos in future thanks